Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to your class number eight. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Fernando. I hope everybody is in. How are you doing? Hello, Yahaira, welcome. I'm driving. Oh, okay, Fernando. Okay, I hope everybody is okay now. Here. Welcome. This is your class number eight. Okay. Good. And hello, Isabel. Hello, teacher. Hi. I don't know if it is, uh, I mean, my sound is okay. Can you hear me okay? Sí, se le escucha algo suave, teacher. Yeah, and I can't hear this other side. Uh huh. Just to see if it is possible. Okay, now they changed. All right. Ah, uh, now it's better. Now I can hear you well. Okay, people, we are going to start a class today because yesterday we were talking about the simple present. And in the simple present, we use questions and we answer questions to communicate the ideas. We use the auxiliary do and the auxiliary does. So today I want to start with a dictation. Is it okay for you guys to start with a dictation? This is just as a manner of warming up. Okay, this is just a manner of warming up. So I will share the whiteboard and I will ask for you to write the first one. Okay, a ver, ¿quién quiere pasar al pizarrón? Vamos a hacer un dictado. Vamos a ver, vamos a dictar preguntas. Okay, let's start by, let's start by the first one. A ver, who wants to come to the board? A ver quién quiere venir al pizarrón. Vamos a ver. No se me escondan. Marta Esther, ¿estás ahí? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Esther. Good evening. Okay. Uh, quisiera que pasara el pizarrón, Esther, y voy a dictarle unas preguntas, okay? Okay. Solamente que como soy con el teléfono. Uh -huh. Intente con el lapicito. Ahí abajo en Ajá, la esquinita el lapicito. O si no, ¿sabe qué? En el chat, Okay. Para que no nos compliquemos más okay. en el chat. Y yo los voy a copiar y los voy a pegar acá. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Vaya, va la primera. What's your name? What's your name? Usted va a escribir la pregunta completa como yo la estoy diciendo. What's your name?
Mm -hmm. Okay, here we have it. List of teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, vamos a ver la siguiente. Next one. Where are you from? Where are you from? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Esther. Vale, vamos a ver todos acá. Corrijamos. ¿Qué le falta a esta eh, pregunta para que sea pregunta? Teacher, eh, en esa yo entendí que usted hizo contrastado. What is your name? No sé si. Exactly. Es, eh, el oh, es is apóstrofe. What your name? Así lo entendí yo. What your name? Correct. Okay. What's your That's name? Awesome. Now right. it is complete, right? There you go. Okay. Now, and what about the second one? Is it correct? A ver, Esther, revísela, a ver si la escribimos bien. Ajá, Miss Gaby. Yo creo que está correcta, pero no sé. Ok. Alma. Aida. Mr. Freddy. Marta Alicia. ¿Está correcta o no esta pregunta? Vamos a ver. Where. Uh -huh. Where are you from? Where are you yes. from? Where are you? Uh, exactly. There you go. Yes, Esther. Where, that's very good. Okay, very good. Thank you, Esther. Now, uh, Miss Gaby, can you come to the board? No puede pasar a la pizarra, Gabriela. Okay. Can you come to the board? Le vamos a hacer un dictadito, ¿ok? El dictado van a ser dos preguntas, ¿sí? Ok. Ready? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Okay, now next question. Uh, what do you do on weekends? What do you do on weekends? What do you do on weekends? What do you do on weekends?
What do you do on weekends? Very good. Is there any mistake in these um, questions? A ver, chicos, revisemos. ¿Están correctas? Are they correct? Are they incorrect? Mm -hmm. Okay, just capitalize the first word, okay? Capitalize that one, and that's it. You did a very good job with this. Um, okay, who wants to come to the board? ¿Quién quiere venir al pizarrón? Le vamos a dictar otras dos preguntas. Okay, thank you, Saul. Thank you. Yay. Come on. Come to the board. <laughs> okay, teacher. <laughs> okay. What do you like doing in your free time? What do you like doing in your free what time? What do you like do it, doing? Doing. In, repeat, teacher, please. Sorry. What do you mm -hmm. like doing in your free time? Your free, free time. Time. Mm -hmm. time. Okay. Veamos. All right. Very good. Now, next one. When's your birthday? When's your birthday? When your birthday. Um, it says birthday. I mean, difficult to remember there, right? Okay. It's birthday. Okay. Birthday. When's your birthday? When's your birthday? Okay, sure. Este estoy seguro está erróneo, pero I don't remember this. Right. But why do, why do you think birthday. it is incorrect? Birth, birthday. Okay, birthday is correct. But there is another Birth? mistake in. Uh -huh. That's okay. the mistake yeah. here. Yeah. It's where um, it's when the shirt. Yeah. Yes. When Since... when when's <laughs> yes when's okay. Yeah. When's oh uh, the shirt. <laughs> when's your correct is there. Thanks, Esther. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, teacher. So, okay, thank you, Arma. Yay, come, come to the board. Now, <laughs> I will uh, dictate only two more questions, okay? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where? How do you say in, in English the. Eh, bueno, en español decimos así quien no, ¿verdad? Cuando... <laughs> so, ah. who doesn't. Ah. How do you say? <laughs> no, um, uh, there, there is, a, there, there is a, a, an idiom uh, similar to that, but we say. Uh, the kind of noun or something. Uh, uh, se la debo y la voy a buscar porque hay una frase que sí se parece mucho al significado ok mm -hmm. ok Alma where are you can't see you Alma where do you work oh on the chat ok no nope. Uh, 
Exactly. Mm -hmm. There you go. Where do you work? Mm -hmm. Now, when do you have lunch? When do you have lunch? Okay, thank you very much, Alma. There you go. When do you have lunch? There you go. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. okay. Uh, this is just a warm up. Okay. Now we remember, right? Now we remember WH word, auxiliary verb, then the subject, then the verb in the base form, and then the complement. And if you are writing the question mark. Okay, everybody, that's the structure for WH question words. And that was the last class, yesterday's class, okay? Now, if we want to answer a question like, where do you work, for example, maybe if I say, Concert hall, what's my profession? A concert hall, what is my profession? What do I do? Mm -hmm. Okay, I will write on the chat. What do you do if you work in a concert hall? Okay. You are a musician, okay? You are a musician if you work in a concert hall. Um, uh, if I work in a veterinarian, in a veterinarian, if, what do you do? You are? Huh? Veterinary, right? Mm -hmm. You're a veterinary. So you are a vet. There you go. Okay. Um, if I work in a school, what do you do if you work in a school. You. You are. Mm -hmm. You're a teacher. Exactly. You are a teacher. There you go. Mm -hmm. Um what do you do if you work in a construction site? Ah, work. What do you do if you work in a construction site? The engineer teacher. Okay. 
You're an engineer. You You're are an architect. An engineer. Mm -hmm. You are an architect. I hope you are writing and taking notes, guys. Okay. You are an architect. Mm -hmm. I am an engineer. Great, Freddie. Mm -hmm. Or you can just be a builder, right? You can just be a builder, right? Um, a builder, right? I'm a builder. Okay, then. Mm. What do you do if you work in a restaurant? Right, I'm a chef. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can be a waiter, a waitress, a cook, a host, but mostly. We think about a chef, right? We think about a chef. All right. Uh, <clears throat> okay, I will make it. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's a uh, cleaning personnel. Okay, I'm from okay. I'm from okay. I do the cleaning up, right? Yeah, something like this. I do the sure the up. the ballet right. parking. I'm sorry. The ballet parking. Okay, the ballet parking. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm -hmm. The ballet parking. Uh, remember that uh, they are asking this question, what do you do? But we answer with our profession or occupation using the be verb. Remember that it's a game, right? This is the verb pattern here that we have to manage. Okay, then if I ask you, for example, where do I get a newspaper? Where do I get a newspaper? Where do I get a newspaper? Where do I buy a newspaper? In the supermarket. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the corner on the street, right? On the street. Mm -hmm. At the street corner. Yeah. At the street corner. You can say on the corner too. Okay, on the corner, it depends. At, it's over there. On is moving around the corner. Okay, so this is the difference over there. And where do I get some milk? Where do I get some milk? In the supermarket <laughs> Okay. What is the milk? Okay. Mm -hmm. Or chop uh, the hornet chop. Again? The hor the horner chop hornet horner chop como tienda de miel es algo así. Honey. Uh, 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 uh. Honey. But that's the. I don't remember that. Um... It's better if we say convenience store. Okay. Yeah, okay. The convenience store is like donde la niña menchita, right? <laughs> yeah, convenience store. Ahí donde la niña tita, yeah. So, convenience store. Yeah. Okay. 
So where is an ATM? Where is an ATM? Where is an ATM? Is that on it's on the difference people is get up that money to share? <laughs> yeah, but where? Where? Uh huh. Um, where can you the, point? Um, in the bank, in the uh, gas line. Okay. How do you say? Gas station. Gas station, gas station. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> in. In El Salvador, in El Mr. Donut. <laughs> ah, okay. Is that different? Uh huh. Uh huh. I see the ATM, the, the vivienda. Okay. Let me oh, say. really? Oh, okay. Yes, uh huh. Well, I've seen I've seen a this ATM out there from Mr. Donut, but they are twenty four seven uh, from Banco Agricola, right? So Agricola Bank. All right. Now I'm going to ask something okay uh, <clears throat> how many students are there in your english class It is around we are around uh, sixteen student or classmate sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sixteen with me, right? So fifteen. Oh, um, fifteen. Okay. Yes, sure. Uh huh. Exactly. There are fifteen students. Yeah, we can say. We are, okay? No, no, we are. We are, mm -mm. it's not correct. We say there are 15 students of us or there are 15 of us, okay? Of us. So like this, there are 15 uh, of us, yeah? Somos 15. There are 15 of us. For example, if you go to Pizza Hut and at the entrance, the host says, uh, a table for how many, right? How many people? Uh, then you say, there are eight of us, okay? There are eight of us. We don't say we are eight. We're gonna say there are eight of us, always. There are, there are, there are, right? Okay, teacher, I understand it. Thanks, teacher. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Now, guys, this was just a review about the WH question words. Okay. WH question words. So now I want to take you to another part of that review. Okay. This is another part of, the, of that review. So I will give you a link. Okay. Where I need you to unscramble. I need you to unscramble these sentences. All right. And mm, just unscramble, okay? Just unscramble. I have someone as a listener. Oh, okay, got it. All right, people. Here it is. Because I want you to notice something. I want you to notice the a subject and object questions. The subject, like this, subject and object. Okay, subject and object questions. Esas son dos tipos de pregunta. Por ejemplo, las subject questions llevan eh, solamente el eh, verbo directamente. Y son para who or what. Um, ahora, Para los object, los object questions, quiere decir que nos hace falta esa información, ¿verdad? Del objeto. Entonces, ya sería utilizando un auxiliar, utilizando do or does by. Vamos a poner un ejemplo. Una subject sería, lo voy a poner acá, 
para no irme a hacer el otro para que podamos hacer el ejercicio, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, who is your boss? Okay. Who is your boss? ¿Ok? Esa es una subject question. All right? Subject. ¿Por qué? Porque necesito el nombre del sujeto. No tengo el nombre del sujeto. ¿Ya? Yeah? En oración. Entonces, yo pongo my boss is, uh, I don't know, mm, let's say Luis. Right? My boss is Luis. ¿Ya? Yeah? So, but, for example, mm, I write the object. Who do you um, report to? Okay. Who do you report to? Yeah. Okay. Who do you report to? Who do you report to? Oh, that's, that's an object. Okay. That's an object question. I report to. Luis. There you go. Okay. Even though it's almost the same. So we need to look at that difference when we do the exercise. Okay. So let's move into those questions. Right. Number one. Let's just organize the words to ask WH questions. Number one. They do were from come. Okay. What is the order of that one? A ver, voy a necesitar que todos vayan diciendo ya en orden la eh, oración. Por ejemplo, si yo digo el number one, me dicen ya la que hayan ordenado, ¿ok? ¿Cómo les quedó ordenada, sí? Vamos. Number one. Are you there yet? ¿Ya están ahí? ¿En el ejercicio? Yes, I am. <clears throat> okay, please. Number one. Um, I think Where is... do they from come to church? Again? Where do they... Where do they... <laughs> Sorry, where do they from come? No. Oh, come in. Um, come from, so what is Okay, aha. Uh -huh. um, WH question word, auxiliary <laughs> verb, subject, verb, and complement. Okay? Where? Yes, sure. Do or, they. Uh -huh, Freddy? Where do they come from? Aha, uh -huh, tell me. Alguien me dijo, teacher? Isabel, Alma, si sí, alguien me habló, pero no cacho quién fue. Okay, where do they come from, right? Okay, number two, number two. <laughs> What should us do? Okay, what? Auxiliary verb? What does she do? Exactly, what does she do? There you go. And number three? When do you, when do you eat breakfast? Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, remember to write the question mark. Okay, number four. Why he does study English? Auxiliary verb after the WH question word. Why does he does? Why does he study English, right? Why does he study English? What does he study English? Okay, number five. Is there number five? Number five. Okay, number five. Okay. 
How much? How many? How much? Many? How much? La, la, six, the six. Oh, okay. How, how much? How much does he want sugar? Okay, aquí sí se nos convierte en una frase. How much sugar? Okay, how much sugar? Esa sería nuestra frase eh, um, de pregunta, porque lo que queremos saber es la cantidad de azúcar, ¿verdad? Entonces, how much sugar? How much milk? How much coffee? So, how much sugar? How much sugar? That's uh -huh. one he. Uh, does is the auxiliary verb. Does he wants. Yes, there you go. Does he want. There you go. Mm -hmm. Number five, teacher. Number five. We didn't do it because she skipped it. Okay, she skipped. Yeah, so this is why we didn't do it. So do you have it? Yes. Have okay. It. How, many? how many? How many books do you read per year? Good. How many books do you read per year? Mm -hmm. You can say, how many books per year do you read, right? So it sounds good too. And if you check at the end, you will see what would be the best, okay? Mm -hmm. How many books? Okay, continue, guys. Number seven, right? How is your house, teacher? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Yes. When do you? When? When do they mm -hmm. play soccer? Okay. When do they play soccer? Mm -hmm. When do they play soccer? Mm -hmm. Will be when do they play soccer? Play soccer. Right. There you go. Number nine. Who 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 reads who do reads <clears throat> who reads short? Mm -hmm. Who Here we don't have auxiliary verb. Okay. This is one of those that sub, uh, subject questions, right? Who reads? Who, Who reads? reads? Exactly. Who reads short tales? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Short tales, right? Short tales. Short tales. Mm -hmm. Who reads? All right, number 10. Short tales. Number 10 is when do you. Mm -hmm. Celebrate your birthday. Mm -hmm. When do, when do you, you, right? When do you? When do you? W -H, when do you auxiliary subject. There you go. When do you celebrate mm -hmm. your, your birthday? Your birthday. Mm -hmm. Birthday. Eleven? Is where does she... Read the newspaper. Okay, nice. Where does she, right? Where does she? she? Where does she? Where does mm -hmm. she? Number 12. Does she read? Alma, the, number 12. Luego hago un servicio porque cuando me meto acá en el link del chat, me saca de la aplicación. Por eso le pedí que compartiera el WhatsApp. Oh, I didn't see. I'm sorry. Why didn't you tell me? Like, Peter, please. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. Let me just see if I'm able to do it. How many do, how many do you have brothers? Uh, how many? What is lo que queremos saber de información? Cantidad de hermanos. Exactly. So, how many brothers do you have? Do you, do you yes. Have? Mm -hmm. Do you have? Okay. There how you many go. brothers do you have? Mm -hmm. 
How often does she travel by Europe? Europe. 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 Yes, how often does she travel by Europe? How often mm -hmm. does she travel by Europe? Mm -hmm. Europe, Europe, yes. Europe. 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 Yeah, you have to Pretty pronounce sure, Europe, but you write it EU. Europe. Right? Mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. Europe. Okay, number 14. Do you have it? Who has it? Who's who study English? Who studies? Who studies? Who studies? Who studies? Ajá, siempre que hacemos I esta pregunta English. con who y lo que estamos buscando es el sujeto, entonces vamos a usar una forma, eh, perdón, la forma del verbo será en tercera persona. Who studies, who wants, who gets, right? Uh, who decides, uh, I'm sorry, who decides, um, whatever, whatever you want to say. Uh, third person. Okay. Who studies English? Number 15. Miss Gabriela. And where do you go to school? I've got a problem with my, my computer. I'm sorry. I didn't hear and I didn't see. Mm -hmm. Can you say something, please? Say hello. Can't hello, hear. teacher. Okay, there yeah. you go. <laughs> okay, thank you. Aha, uh -huh, number... I'm sorry, Miss Gabriela, what number were we in? Uh, 15. Okay, uh -huh. can you say it again, please? Where they to go to school. Okay, where and then the auxiliary. Where? Where to? Where to? Uh -huh. Where do? Uh -huh. And then uh, the subject. Where, where, where do they? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh -huh. Where do they go to school? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, next, does, 16. What oh, does 16. your What does your sister buy in the store? Great. Mm -hmm. Number 17. How often does he go to the movies? Very good. Mm -hmm. 18. When do you get up? Great. And 19. What time is it? Time is it? Great. What time is it? Right. Mm -hmm. Number 20. How much money do you need? Very good. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, please click on finish, check your answers, screenshot, and send it through the WhatsApp, please, as evidence. Okay, teacher, I mm -hmm. finished the right. <laughs> okay. When do you get hmm? is it <clears throat> do you need? Okay, 
Ah, ver aquí. What time is it? What time is it? Thank you, Carlos. There you go, okay. 100. Great. Mm -hmm. Nosotros pasaremos por el camino principal y algunos de nosotros llegamos a ver algo de su corte. I have four mistakes. <laughs> Two or three? Four mistakes. Four. Oh, okay. But it, was it a spelling mistakes? Um, yeah, some letters. Okay, spelling. I, I, um, and number five. Okay. Uh, mistake is. Uh, Can you send it? Send it like it is, because if it is a spelling um, mistake, it doesn't matter. What it matters is the structure, okay? The grammar structure. If the grammar structure is okay, we will count on it, okay? We'll mark that up. Yeah, because there is no way to correct it. Yeah, there's no way. Had to do it all over. Okay, now, guys, uh, I'm still waiting for you to send a screenshot, guys. Because this is a manner of uh, evidence, right? Okay, Fernando, let's look at this. <clears throat> ah, the question mark over there. And in the first one, where do they come from? From at the end. Okay, and with us, oh, you repeated a word. Okay, why does he study English? <clears throat> Maybe you rolled up. K instead of an L takes and tails, right? On the number nine. Okay. Now you detected your mistakes, so you can correct them, right? Um, let's continue, guys, because we did this because we needed to. Thank you, Gabby. Miss Gabriela. We want to start a new topic. Okay. Here we are going to use the verb list, okay? We will use our verb list. Right. 
picture in a different way. Okay, here we go. This is our new topic, okay? By the way, dear class, what date is it today? What date is it today? Mm -hmm. What date is it today? Repetition, sorry. What date is it today? It's September 27th. Mm -hmm. Today is September the 27th. Today, yes. September 27th. Yes. <clears throat> okay, the topic for today is the simple past. Okay, simple past. This is a new tense we're going to study. And we will see the statements. Statements in the negative form and the affirmative form. And we will try to see the yes, no questions today. Uh, in order to do that, we have to go, we have to go to see two things. Okay. The first one, okay, the first one is that we have regular verbs and irregular verbs. Okay. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. We have the regular verbs that ends in ed. Okay. The present tense of receive is re uh, received is receive. So I received the confirmation email. You treated her disrespectfully. We manufactured leather items. All of them and in ed. Look, these are regular verbs. Okay, regular and in ed. ED, right? ED. And we have the irregular verbs. The irregular change completely. And there is no other way than memorizing it to, um, uh, to master this, okay? So let's read. The trainer came late. This is the past tense of the verb Come, okay? The trainer came late for the last weekly meeting. He spoke, uh -huh, this is the past tense of the verb speak, okay? And then he spoke very well in the conference. They made. This is the past tense of the verb make. They made a mistake with the deliveries. I bought the deed. I bought the deed. But is the past tense of the verb buy. Okay, the verb buy to acquire things. So, and this is an expression too, right? With the Bitcoin thing. All right. <laughs> Now, I will say this verb in the present tense, and you will say the verb in the, in the past tense. Okay, let's try. Manage. Manage. It has an easy ending. Manage. Uh huh. What is the past simple form? Everybody, please open your microphones and say, manage, past tense. Manage, 
Managed, right? Manage. Mm -hmm. Manage. Supervise. 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 Uh -huh. Supervise. Supervise. What is the past tense? Supervise. Um, exactly. We have to pronounce this supervised. 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 What about this one? Reported. 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 Work. 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 Yeah, with the letter T. Work. Work. Direct. 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 Manufacture. 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 Okay, so let's put this just to be sure. Okay. Managed. Okay. Managed. Supervise. Supervised. Okay. Supervised. Report. Reported. Reported. Yeah. Reported. 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 Mm -hmm. Work. Worked. 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 Direct. Directed. 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 Mm -hmm. Director. Mm -hmm. Manufactured. 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 With a letter D. Manufactured. 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 Okay. Las que son unvoiced endings, como S. la letra S, miren, tocan acá y no hay vibración. No hay vibración. There is no vibration. So we, ha we have an unvoiced consonant. So it will be supervised, supervised with a letter T. Okay. Manage, managed, managed. And we have this one work, work, worked, worked. Entonces, lo que no, los que no tienen voz, como la EE, -E, ¿verdad? Se pronuncia como ch. la CH. Es el mismo sonido, ch. la S tss, con la E tss, tampoco tiene una vibración, ¿verdad? No hay un sonido de voz. Entonces, esas se van a pronunciar. La, la ED, la ED ending, lo vamos a pronunciar como una tss, una T, ¿verdad? Una tss. Ahora, los verbos que terminan en una T o en DE o que terminan en una D, ¿verdad? Eh, esos les va, los vamos a eh, decir con ED, así, ED. For example, direct, directed. Report, reported. Ahora, si yo pongo el verbo decide, que termina en una, aquí lo voy, perdón. Atrás, acá. Oh, again. Ah, es que estoy con esto. Okay. Si yo lo pongo acá, por ejemplo, el verbo decide ¿sí? y pongo decided, ¿sí? decided, como ya termina en una E, solo le agrego la D, ¿verdad? Solo le agrego la D. Uh, por ejemplo, este, dance, ah, tiene una C y una E. El sonido se convierte como que fuera una S, ¿verdad? Dance. Dance. No hay vibración, entonces yo voy a poner dan en la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Dance. Yeah. Dance. Y así es como vamos a ir viendo, dependiendo de cómo termina el verbo en tiempo presente, así va a ser su pronunciación de esta terminación ed. ED ending. Entonces, recordemos, tenemos tres pronunciaciones. Lo vamos a pasar a una. Ok. 
okay, en el whiteboard. Acá, vamos a clear all drawings. Fíjense que aquí no he encontrado los clear, oh, ah, ahora los encontré. <ríe> clear all drawings, there you go. Entonces, tenemos el sonido como una T, ¿verdad? Son los unvoiced consonants, ¿ok? El sonido como D serían los voiced consonants. Y el sonido ed serían los que terminan en una T o en una D, ¿ok? There you go. A letter T or a letter D. No importa que sea con una DE, no importa que sea con una TI, TE, ¿verdad? Siempre el sonido es T, D, entonces le vamos a decir dead, TED, ¿ok? Dead, TED, always. Ahí sí que siempre en todos los que terminen con una T, va a ser TED, right? Y todos los que terminan en D, en su forma base, entonces va a ser dead, right? Dead. Uh, por ejemplo, vamos a poner algunos ejemplos por acá. Okay. The verb, oops, move. Okay. The verb, move. Uh -huh. Move. ¿Cómo pronunciaríamos el pasado? Mm. Move. Uh -huh. Ok, move. move. Ah, move. es voiced. Ajá, tiene voz. Mm, al final, move. 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 Touch your, touch your cross. Tóquense la garganta, no tengan pena, hombre, no tengan pena. A ver, touch yourself. <ríe> ¿Ya? Yeah. Ajá, no tengan pena, no tengan pena. Vamos a ver. ¿Mm? Ahora hagan el sonido. Move. Move. No. We have a vibration, so we're going to say move, 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 like this, move, 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 move. Now we have like, okay. How do we pronounce this verb? Like unvoiced consonant. Entonces entra en este. Uh -huh. Light. 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 Exactly. Mm. Light. Light. Yes. Like. Mm -hmm. Now we have this. We have this other. Visit. 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 Mm -hmm. Visit. Mm -hmm. Visit. Mm -hmm. How do we pronounce this verb in the past Visited. tense? Look. Visited. It ends. Visited. Uh, nope. Visited. 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 Mm -hmm. En el sonido fuerte de la T diríamos visited. Pero en el sonido americano, visited. Right? Visited. 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 Huh? Play it. Play it. Mm? Play it. ¿Cómo lo pronunciamos? Es... Play it. Mm? Play it. Tendrá una voiced or unvoiced. No termina en T ni termina en D. ¿Ve? Termina en una Play. Y. Mm -hmm. Play. Entonces, termina en unvoiced consonant or voiced consonant. Voice, voice, voice consonant. In a voiced consonant, right? Play. Play. Right? Uh -huh. So we pronounce this like a. Like. 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 Like
played. Yeah, played. Yeah, played. played. With a letter D. Played. 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 Hmm? played. Okay, we have another. Okay. How do we pronounce this other one? Hook. Cook. And this Cook. one is? Cook. I'm voiced. Huh? With um, a letter T. Right. Hooked. Cook. 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 Exactly, cooked. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have this other verb. To answer. The past tense is answer. ¿Cómo lo pronunciamos? How do we pronounce this? Answer voiced, right? Voiced consonant D sound. Answer answered. Answer. Answered. 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 Okay, I hope this is clear. Okay. I hope this is clear. Or is there any other question about this? Is there any question at the moment? No question. No question. Next question? Okay. So let's look at the irregular. Irregular. Okay. The irregular are completely changed, right? They are totally different. So let's look at short list of some irregular verbs. These are... Um, very common, okay? These are very common. So we go right here to this ones. Go to simple present, went, right? Go, went. went. Y ahora ya sabemos el participio. A ver, ¿quién recuerda el participio de go? It's go, gone. went, gone. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Ahí en su listita de verbos. Vayan todos, abran su listita de verbos. Ah. Esto es importante. Do, the past tense is did. Ok. Do, did. Y este es sumamente importante que lo notemos. ¿Por qué? Porque también do lo usamos como un auxiliar en el tiempo presente. También lo vamos a utilizar como auxiliar para el tiempo pasado. Y este es nuestro auxiliar para los negativos y para las preguntas en el tiempo pasado. Así que recordemos siempre, do, did, do, did, do, did. did. Y el pasado participio, done, do, did, done, go, did. went, gone, right? Vale, vamos a ver la siguiente, make, oh. made. Teacher. Make, uh -huh. Uh, I have a question. Is uh, do and did es el mismo que el mismo uso de verbo y como auxiliar el mismo cambio se le hace el, el mismo pasado. Exacto. Como verbo y como auxiliar. Yes, yes, Alma. Mm -hmm. Como Exacto. verbo ya sabemos qué significa hacer, ¿verdad? Entonces, do como auxiliar. Nos ayuda para hacer preguntas, hacer negativos, tanto como el does, ¿verdad? Do and does. Pero el did no tiene para terceras personas. El did es para todos los pronombres, ¿ok? Did no cambia. Do cambia a does cuando es he, she, it, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver. Make. The simple past of make. Made. 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 Ok, el verbo be. Tiene diferentes formas. Tenemos el is, am y el are en tiempo presente. En tiempo pasado, el verbo be es was y es where. where. Usamos I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, we were, they were. ¿Ok? 
Entonces, para I, para he, para she, it es was, was en el tiempo pasado. Para los plurales y para you es were. were. ¿Ok? Bien, vamos a ver. Hay otros que no cambian la forma. Es exactamente el, la misma forma escrita, la misma forma pronunciada. Entonces, eh, hot, hot. Cut, 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 right? Put, put, okay? Put, present, put, the past. And put is the past participle too. Cost, how much does it cost, right? Mm -hmm. So cost. it cost, right? We can say it costed. Mm -mm. It cost, right? Cost. cost. Mm -hmm. Now, quit, quit. You see? Quit. I give up, right? Quit. That means to give up. So that's quit. And the past quit. simple will be quit. But there is something here, okay? We need to notice just a little, uh, let's say, British in, in literature, maybe you will find this like this. Okay, maybe you will find this in books. It's not a mistake, but it's an old fashioned, right? That's an old fashioned thing, right? Quit it. We don't use it anymore. We use quit, okay? Maybe you use, you see it. So this is why I'm saying this. I'm looking for the erase. Right. And there is one single verb that it is weird okay it, this is a very weird verb why because it has the same spelling in the present and in the past but it has different pronunciation for example in the present we say read yeah read but in the past we say red red, red. just like the color as if you say this color red okay it's the red. same pronunciation Read, 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 read. I read, I read. I read a book. I read a book last month, right? Read, read. Are we okay so far? It's the pronounced teacher. Uh huh. Yes, that's the difference only. The difference is in the pronunciation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there any questions so far? No questions, sure. No questions. Okay, let's look at some examples, right? Let's look at some examples. Nos vamos a tirar al agua con todo, vamos. Con todo y ropa, vámonos. Yeah, here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we're going to see some statements in the simple past, okay? I want you to do... Mm, just a little, let's say, remembrance, is that correct? I don't remember. Well, I will show you here in the manual better. <clears throat> okay. Vamos a ver esta conversación, ¿sí? Aquí vamos a ver cómo funciona el tiempo pasado. Eh, normalmente nosotros cuando vamos a un evento y cuando regresamos venimos contando, ¿verdad? ¿Y, y cómo contamos las historias? ¿Cómo contamos las cosas que han sucedido? En tiempo pasado siempre. Entonces eso es lo que vamos a ver en this conversation. So please everybody, turn your, uh, turn to page number 23. Okay, turn to page number 23. Do you know what networking is? What is networking, guys? Mm -hmm. What is it? Networking. What is networking?
es da he says como de redes de short de yes it is mm -hmm. it's about the nets about the media the social media getting contacts like um this linkedin right and um this kind of uh nets that you create in contacts in order to grow in your career right grow in your career maybe you uh get contacts uh with colleagues with other um professionals in your field or in your area that maybe they are doing the same thing but they have some things to share with you and you have things to share with them right so it's not just lifestyle this is professional um information uh, exchanging right so uh are you good at networking are you good at networking do you share business cards when you network do you share business cards yes to share is um, but i i, I don't know what to say um, imagine that you have your profile right you have your profile online maybe in a site maybe linkedin do you share your profile with a lot of people or other contacts that maybe uh, they have the same profession as you yeah, just to share <laughs> okay do you make friends Wait, sure. Do you make friends? Make friends online? Yes, sure. Okay. Alguien más acá sabe que es networking? Exactly. But uh, not necessarily in your job, right? Maybe oh. in different um, companies, right? For example, I am the CEO from my company and then I get in contact with another CEOs, right? So that's networking, that you make contacts to know more people and to enrich your knowledge of your own career, right? This is one of the usages, right? It's not limited to that it's not limited to that because uh, maybe networking is for hiring people too right uh, maybe networking is for just making friends right networking is completely um, formal or maybe it it can be informal too right okay let's think about Okay, let's think about uh, what happened when you go to a seminar, when you attend a seminar, right? Let's look at this experience. This experience is between Luis and Janet, okay? So, so one of these uh, uh, participants went to a seminar, right? So Luis asked, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did, I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills and I learned to move from small to small talk. Great, so did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome, right? Okay, there you go. Let's start and see the first question. Did you enjoy the seminar? Mm, this is a very direct question, right? Did you enjoy the seminar? We use the auxiliary did as we use the auxiliary do. Okay? Did. Past tense. Did you enjoy the seminar? Okay? Si fuera en tiempo presente, están ahí en el seminario, do you enjoy the seminar? Well, yeah. Right? Are you enjoying the seminar? Yes, I am. Uh, pero ya terminó el seminario, ya vino de regreso, ya está ahí. Entonces yo le pregunto, did you enjoy the seminar? Past tense. Okay, what is the answer? Yes, I did. Look, yes, I did. 
And if it was in the negative, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, because it's the contraction of this did not. Now, then it says, I've updated my networking skills. Okay, I updated my networking skills. Look, learned, learned. Okay, and then we have another question. Did you make new contacts? Did you make new contacts? And then we have another verb. I exchanged, right? I exchanged, yeah? Now, continue, guys, continue. We are going to the breakout room, okay? We will practice the conversation, and we are going to complete this pair work, okay? You are going to answer with yes or with no answer, okay? Are we okay so far? It's okay so far, teacher. Okay, is there any question about the activity we are doing on breaker rooms? No teacher, I understand it is the practice the, the conversation and answer the questions. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Tell me. Pronunciation the awesome. Awesome. Oh. Awesome. awesome. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. The last word is awesome. Like amazing, like very nice, great, right? Something like that is awesome, yeah. All right, let's go to the breakout rooms, practice the conversation and answer the questions. I'm here, teacher. Excuse me. Hello, Aida. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Nice to see you. So, uh, we are going to the breakout room, Aida. Okay. Okay, teacher. Uh, we will practice the conversation and answer the questions. Okay, teacher. What is the page number, teacher? Twenty-three. If I'm not wrong, I changed the yeah. the window just give me one second and then, yeah it's 23 i can first We have some listeners, right? Okay. Um, Luis, did you enjoy the seminar? Uh, yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell Mm 
Hello. Hello, Gabriela. Sorry, teacher. I'm probably. <laughs> okay. The internet. I'm looking for another. Okay, I'll send you. Um, Just one moment, Gabriela, because... Okay. Okay, there you are. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Update. Update my network ne networking skills. I learn to move from a smile to a smart talk. Talk. Llamamos la presentación de esto. Updated. Update. It's at the end. Mm -hmm. Great. So, did you make new contact? Yes, I did. I yes. Sure. Exchange. Bye. Exchange. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's check buses. Cars with them. Um, people. Away, away some. Away some. Okay. Si quieren a los dos ahora. Bueno. Hoy empiezo That's yo. Awesome, awesome is the last word. Awesome. awesome. Okay, empiezo con Damari. Did, did you enjoy this the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Told, told me more. I observed my networking skill. I learned to mod from a, from a small to a smart talk. Great. So did you make any contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged, exchanged, can I say for that? Exchange. Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with uh, 10 people. Awesome. Okay, over there is exchanged. 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 Uh-huh. Así, mire. Ex, así. Ex. Changed. Changed. Uh -huh. Changed.
que se puede ver el amanecer, dice. Ok. Mm. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Estamos planeando en la excursión. Oh, great. Mm. Where are oh, you going? Una, Where una are you going? Ah, uh, si te quedas a hospital con de frío y temblando, creo que hablaríamos mejor el inglés. <laughs> yeah, el chewing gum, right? Mm. Mm. Chewing gum. Uh -huh. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, yeah it, it's a good idea. It's a good idea, but I, I think I will enjoy better at the beach. <laughs> yeah, la clase ya como podemos aprender un poquito más para ver ¿Cómo se dice? <risa> naturaleza. Okay. La naturaleza. Mm, okay. Nature. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Well, did you finish? Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, let's go back to the main room, okay? Let's go okay. back. Mm -hmm. See you there. Here we go. Okay, people. Maybe it's only you. Okay, there you are. Mm -hmm. So now, guys, let's uh, share the answers you have. 
You can even share the answers you have. First of all, let's listen to a pair of you a, with the conversation. Let's role play, okay? Okay, here we go. Let's role play the conversation first. I want to listen to, it's not that I want, it's that we need to listen to Okay, Damaris and Rosa Estela, please. Okay, teacher. Did Luis go... Oh, no, the conversation, teacher. Yeah, the conversation, okay. yes. Did you enjoy this seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I adapted my working style. I learned to move from small to smart start. Right. So, did you make new contact? Yes, I did. I exchanged. Everything. <laughs> I exchanged. I exchanged a business card with 10 people. I want. No. Oh. Oh. Um, I know. Awesome. 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 Uh -huh. awesome. Yeah, awesome. Uh -huh. No tengan miedo ahí. Se pronuncia awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I said something like that. Awesome. All right. Thank you very much, girls. Now, we want to hear Carlos Delgado and let's look at Marta Alicia, please. Roughly the conversation. Okay, teacher. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. I learned. I learned. Tell me more. I updated my networks, networking skill. I learned to move from a small to smart phone. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Great. So, updated. Updated. Update. Ed, ah, okay. Ed. Ajá, porque acuérdense que todos los que terminen en sonido de T, vamos a hacer Ed. Update said, right? I updated. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, let's. Okay, let's listen to Alma and Isabel, please. Okay. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. To me more. I update my networking skill. Updated. I, I updated my networking skill. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Right. So did you make net? Company. New contact. contact. New contact. Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with 10 people. Okay. Awesome. Great. Okay, now let's try to uh, say the, uh, the yes, no answers here. Okay, the yes, no answers. Can you come to the board and check them, please? Just underline. Check them, please. Number one, what what do you say? Number one. Uh, no, he didn't. Oh, I'll okay. read the question. Please, <laughs> come to the board and check it. Okay, teacher. Entren todos a la pizarra, pues. Vamos, todos llenando cuál es. Y dele Saúl con la primera. Did Luis go to a seminar? The second is, did Janet update her networking skills? Yes. 
It's not. Not she didn't. Didn't she? No, oh, oh, sorry, teacher. Is. Yes, did Janet learn networking? See, did Janet learn to go from small to small talk? And this question is, yes. Freddy, yes. and this yes. question is, what is that? But the yes. bird, the yes. father is learned. But I, I understand it is, is the Janet is the learn to. <laughs> the phone is not a smartphone, but it's just, yes, she did. Yes, of course. But learned is in the affirmative, right? Mm -hmm. and, and questions, when we use an auxiliary, it becomes, again, to the base form. Okay? Basically. But it means the past because it goes, it goes with deed. Deed, Janet, okay. learn, right? Mm -hmm. And the number four is did list is change business card with them it's not bad it's janet which it assists the the seminar okay attended attended seminar all right mm -hmm. very good thank you very much guys now let's go and i'm sorry the the number three is she is yes she did did janet learn to go from small to smart talk well, actually, she says over there, um, I am, I learned to move from small to smart talk. Yes, of course. It's not okay. she did. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. The affirmative that is learned, teacher. Okay, this is what maybe yeah, I'm okay, getting okay, wrong for you, from you. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. But it's, yes, yes, she did. Yes, you did. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I just want to take you to the negative form, okay? In the negative form, we need to understand that we use the same auxiliary verb, deed, for all the persons, okay? All the subjects. We're going to use in the past simple negative form, deed, with the particle not, okay? Did not. So let's look at these examples, and we will see that we use didn't okay didn't you see yes didn't y no tengamos miedo así como que se oye dent no importa didn't 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 yes en el inglés hablado es mejor las contracciones en el inglés escrito es mejor la forma completa okay so try, try to use as much as you can when you speak all contractions Okay, so it says, I didn't receive. Ah, el verbo que va a acompañar en la forma negativa ya no va a ser en pasado. Va a ser en tiempo presente porque el did ya me lo hace pasado. ¿Verdad? I didn't receive. I didn't receive the confirmation email. Right? The confirmation email. Now, number two, you didn't wear the uniform at the training. You didn't wear the uniform at the training. Number three, she didn't, ah, and the verb is have, present tense, right? But this is past tense. Why? Because we have the auxiliary deed, it not. It means no uso, no recibió, no tuvo, okay? She didn't have a day off last week. We didn't attend to the seminar yesterday. They didn't start a new process last month, okay? Didn't attend, didn't start didn't have didn't wear didn't receive okay aquí no tenemos ninguno cambiado al pasado verdad por qué porque la forma correcta es el auxiliar y la forma de base okay la forma base del verbo esa es la manera de hacer la forma negativa okay por ejemplo a ver y por acá tenemos algunos ejemplos Lisa went to the supermarket yesterday, right? Lisa went to the supermarket yesterday. For some reason, this is not allowing me. Okay. Ah, es afirmativa. This is affirmative, right? This is affirmative. Entonces, quiere decir que este es el pasado de qué verbo? Go. Oh. Go. Mm -hmm. So, Lisa went to the supermarket. 
when yesterday past tense right sam cooked a tasty dinner yesterday sam cooked a tasty dinner yesterday okay past tense my brother so so past tense of what verb See. Wait, see. I'm yesterday. And if you see yesterday, 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 right? Last year. Oh, this is another time expression we can use for the past. Last. Last. Year. Mm -hmm. Last year. Last week. Right. Last night. All right. So we can say last year I traveled to France. Last year I traveled to France. Okay. With a double L. Is British when with one L is American. Okay, we can find it in two ways: double L or, or only one L. Traveled to France. I washed. Look, I washed the dishes. My mother bought a dress for me. Okay, my mother bought a dress for me. Me compré un vestido. Lavé los platos. Viajé a Francia. Vi una película. Cociné, perdón, cocinó Sam, ¿verdad? Cocinó una sabrosa eh, cena. Fue al supermercado, okay? This is past tense. Allow me just to show you some other um, things that we must consider, okay? Okay, we have the regular, remember? ED. Irregular, they follow their own rules, okay? And we have some other examples. Look, subject, the verb in past, plus the complement. This is affirmative pattern, okay? Affirmative pattern. We walked through the park. Can you please read the examples, Aida? Please, this, 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 and this. We walked through the park. We walked. We walk through the park. Hmm? Next one. Debbie strong about it. Este es el pasado del verbo think. Okay? Este es el pasado hmm. del verbo think. Y es thought. Okay? Thought. 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 Mm -hmm. Debbie thought about it. Debbie thought about it. Yes. Next one. Debbie thought about it. They drove home together. Okay. They drove. Mm -hmm. they drove. Next one. Uh, the company started, started this tradition. Okay. Started, right? Started. 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 Mm -hmm. the, the company started. Ted. Started, started this tradition. Ok, no tengan miedo. Ahorita tal vez sienten ustedes así como que lo digo con el ed, no lo digo con el ed. Solo recuerden que si al final ese verbo termina con una T en el presente, como start, ok, tengo que hacer ed. Ok, start, no importa que suene fuerte la T, start Ted, ok, pero que suene. Uh -huh. Started o started. Apeguense a una sola. Yo sugiero que lo que se apeguen a la forma más fácil para nuestro eh, acento salvadoreño. Started. Okay. Started. Yeah. Started. Uh -huh. Sin miedo. Uh -huh. The company started this tradition. Okay. Okay, remember, subject, verb, and past, and the complement. Now, we have the negative, right? So let's look at some negative examples. Didn't is before the verb in present or the base form, right? Can you please read the example, Marta Esther? All these. Lisa didn't see Mr. O'Connell. Sí, O'Connell. Es un apellido. ¿Mm? We didn't, we didn't do the homework. Okay. Did you do the homework, guys? Oh, 
We didn't do the homework, right? Okay, continue, please, Esther. Mom didn't make cake. cake? Make a cake. It has to be a cake. Yeah. Yeah. Mom didn't make a cake. Continue, please. Make a uh, cake. Her brother didn't come to the party. Okay. So remember, subject, didn't, verb in present, plus the complement, right? And I just want to show you some things. Very important. We have these expressions. These are time expressions we use in the past simple. Okay, for example, yesterday, a week, a month, a year ago. Okay, a week, a month, a year ago. All right, a week, a month, a year ago. Ah, entonces acordémonos. En el tiempo pasado decimos ago. También decimos last. Okay, last. Last qué? Last month. Last year, last week, last weekend, last Monday, last night. Uh -huh. Pero no vamos a decir last day, porque last day is yesterday. Okay? Last day is yesterday. Entonces, lo correcto es decir yesterday. Okay, vamos a ver. Tenemos esta otra. The day before yesterday. The day before yesterday. ¿Qué significará the day before yesterday? Así en nuestro lenguaje salvadoreño. Antier. Yeah, exactly. Antiayer decimos también, ¿eh? Entonces, yeah. So, the day before yesterday is the day before yesterday, right? Okay, two days, two months, two years ago. Okay, podemos no solamente con uno, con a, sino que también podemos decir el número exacto, ¿ok? The exact number. In the afternoon. Okay. Si yo estoy hablando en la noche, algo que pasó in the afternoon. Si yo estoy hablando in the afternoon, algo que pasó in the morning. Okay. So, the time expressions usually appears at the end of the sentence, but also at the beginning of the sentence. Okay. Not in the middle. If not in the middle of the sentence. For example, we don't say, we are, uh, we five minutes ago arrived home. No, we arrived home five minutes ago. That's the best placement of the time expressions, okay? And then we say, the day before yesterday, we didn't clean the cars, right? An hour ago, I sent the emails, all right? So you can use ago with five minutes ago. Entonces, ponemos primero el tiempo y después ago, ¿verdad? Five minutes ago, a long time ago, many years ago, 10 years ago, six months ago, etc. An hour ago. Bien, ¿hay alguna pregunta hasta este momento? Is there any question so far? No question, teacher, so far. <laughs> no questions. Okay, then. <sighs> Hemos logrado poner al día el contenido, fíjense. Nos ha costado llegar a poner al día exacto, pero logramos ya cubrir ahorita hasta a simple past. Ya no tenemos que andar cargando el siguiente tema para la otra clase, solo en feedback, ¿verdad? Solo en feedback lo vamos a ir llevando. Bien, eh, no preguntas, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces ahorita tenemos dos minutos enteritos para que podamos eh, divertirnos en la lista, ¿verdad? Vamos a pasar la lista y por favor, cuando diga yo su nombre, usted me dice un verbo en tiempo presente y en tiempo pasado, ¿ok? Vale. Vamos a ver, pasado simple, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, ¿están listos? Are you ready? Ready, steady, go, right? <laughs> Please turn your camera on and say present and the example of the verb. Right? The verb in simple past. Present and simple oh. past. Yeah. Present and simple, simple past. Yes. Ahí de Eugenia Ramirez Chavez. Puerto. College collector. Great. 
Alma y Amilés Hernández de Vázquez. Present. Go and went. Good. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Report. Reported. Ok. Carlos Eduardo Alecón Galdames. I was connected, I remember. Mm. Ok. I thought he was connected. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Damaris Lizette Guevara Herrera. Go. Go, Ok. Uh, Evelyn Yajaira Martínez de Jacinto. Miss Yajaira, still working. Fernando Enrique Martínez Macín. Present teacher. Ok. Dream, dreams. Um, ok, ya Jaira. Ya voy. Llame Fernando. Ah, la señal. Oh, ok. Ajá. Uh Ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. Repeat, please. Ok. Drink, drink. Drink, drunk. Drink, drunk. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Yes. Drink, drunk. And drunk, right? Drink, drunk, drunk. <laughs> okay, ok, there you go. Ajá. Uh -huh. Now, Fernando Noel Mauricio Cintigo. Present teacher, um, learn and learn. Good. Uh, Freddy Enrique Vázquez Solórzano. Uh, uh, describe, describe. Very good. Uh, Gabriela Lisset Hernández Cruz. Present teacher, like, like. Light. Light. Mm -hmm. Eh, María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Colet, collected. Collect, collected. Ok. Um, Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Love. Love it. Ok, ese termina con v, entonces loved. Loved. Love. Con D. Loved. Uh -huh. Loved. Uh -huh. Marta Esther Ayala Díaz. Present teacher. Um, speak. Speak. Spoke. Very good. Speak, spoke, spoken, right? Uh -huh. Nice. Um, Ronaldo Josué Guerrero Hernández. Present teacher, uh, cold, cold. Cold, like this, cold. Con una D. Cold. No, cold. 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 Yes. Rosa Estela Polanco. Present teacher, forget, forgot. Okay, forget, forgot. Forgot. Mm -hmm. Forgot. Yeah, forgot so, sounds like very British. Forgot. For right? Forgot. Forgot. Uh -huh. eh, Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Present teacher in B was in word. Oh, B okay. was word. Yes, okay. yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is correct. B. It B. will be. Am um, is R, right? Am um, yes, is it's... R was where. Mm -hmm. Was where. Yes, teacher. All right. Stephanie Magalia Maya Reyes. Okay, people. So, um, La sesión 101, session 101 today is for eight. Fernando Enrique, ¿verdad? Fernando Noel. Are you staying, Fernando Noel? Yes, teacher. 
Ok, there you go. Eh, solo les quiero avisar que pueden ver el video de ayer en la, par en la última parte que tuvimos con su compañero Fernando Enrique. Eh, él muy colaborativamente o colaboradoramente eh, resolvió las cinco tareas de la unidad 1. Por los que no la han resuelto, vayan, véanla y quedaron resueltas. Okay? Así que, see you tomorrow. Have a very good evening or very good night. And that's and submit your homework. See you tomorrow. Okay, good, good, good night. 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 Bye bye. Okay, Fernando. Oh, here we are. There we go. How are you today? Uh, what? How are you today? Uh, uh, eh, ¿Cómo se dice pesado? Duro, ah, hard. Hard. Uh, hard. Pensado. Pesado. Uh, ajá. Ah, pesado. Heavy. Uh, hard. Yeah. Very heavy, very uh, hard. Uh, ajá. Pero I, también sí uh, ha hecho I, muchas I, actividades exhausting, exhausting. Okay, exhausting mm -hmm. teacher. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I am. I. Exhausting. I sleep. <laughs> okay, but didn't you? I, didn't. I, oh, okay, okay. You are tired. You're tired. Bastante. He tenido dos meses que son una locura en el trabajo y ya no. Siento que ya no doy más. Ah, okay. Pero yo sé que sí puede. Ánimo. Cheer up. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Sí, sí. puede. Sí, puede. Primeramente, Dios, que se le va a ir a, a, arreglando la situación, ¿verdad? Y que se va a ir poniendo todo más. Lame. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Creo que me faltan dos meses más con lo difícil y pues luego ojalá y todo vuelva a la normalidad. Sí, sí. Primero Dios, ¿verdad? Sí. Yo lo que le aconsejo en ese caso es que cuando ya usted tenga su chancecito o por ejemplo cuando finalicemos, usted retome nuevamente los videos. ¿verdad? Retome los videos que le han hecho falta ver. Porque a veces sí estamos como, como oyentes, pero por muchas otras ocupaciones en el trabajo, lo que sea, estamos así como, eh, se me fue que dijo, ¿verdad? No, no puedo porque como no lo estoy practicando en ese momento, ¿verdad? Pero sí es sí. importante que vaya y regrese en el video para que pueda eh, llenar esos vacíos, ¿verdad? Llenar esos vacíos okay. que van quedando. ¿Pero es que los videos siempre quedan en YouTube o no? Sí, en la plataforma también ahí los tiene. Uh -huh. sí, lo que pasa es que, por ejemplo, digamos el módulo 2, si quiero volver a ver algún tema del módulo 2, en uh -huh. YouTube lo puedo ver, pero en la plataforma... Exactamente. Entiendo que ya no, ¿verdad? Eh, no sé si todavía tiene acceso, yo creo que ya no. Yo creo que ya no tiene acceso. Mm, solamente queda activa como una semana más. En esa semana debe aprovechar usted. Era para verlos en la plataforma y tomar de ahí también eh, la ubicación en YouTube en donde está para que después usted lo pueda seguir eh, escuchando ¿verdad? en la lista de YouTube. Ah, ok. Sí, teacher, porque le soy honesto. Este, este curso en el que estamos, híjole, sí voy bastante perdido, teacher, no lo he entendido mucho. ¿Y no, qué, es lo que, es lo, qué es lo que siente que, que va no, perdido? No, Veamos. No, no, no. Ajá. Pero si nos ubicamos así ahorita en, en tres minutos, va, ubiquémonos en tres minutos y va a ver usted que eh, lo, lo que tiene que ir a buscar y ir a ver, ¿verdad? 
Acordémonos que tenemos el mapita. No sé si se recuerda del mapita al que yo siempre los llevo, en la página 6. Ajá. Ahí tenemos ese mapita del libro para que usted vea lo que debe de haber aprendido. Si usted ha aprendido eso, vamos bien para el siguiente módulo. Entonces, ¿En qué pues, aquí lo... me dice? Uh -huh. ¿En qué página me dice? En la página 6, page 6. Este Ajá. cuadrito, mire. En el libro. Este cuadrito le dice a usted la unidad en que estamos, los objetivos, ¿verdad? Y el vocabulario que vamos a ver. Si usted se aprendió el vocabulario de los core values, como responsibility, innovation, punctuality, loyalty, service to others, etc. O, por ejemplo, cuando vimos la diferencia entre personal and personal. ¿verdad? Dos palabras distintas que se parecen mucho. Vaya, por ¿verdad? ejemplo, Chico, eso, por ejemplo, me creía que o me desconecté o, o, o pasé en modo zombie, pero de esto no, no lo recuerdo y no lo entiendo. ¿El qué? La diferencia entre personal y, y... ¿Y personal? Personal. Ajá. Okay. Okay, Esa yo. es... Esa es una, una muy, eh, digamos, eh, situación práctica, ¿verdad? Entonces, personal es todo lo que es inherente a la persona, ¿sí? Personal, my personal information, my personal stuff, my personal desk, my personal place, my personal assistant, ¿verdad? Eso quiere decir que es de la persona, ¿sí? Pero tenemos personal, ¿ok? Personal. Personal es el staff o los empleados de una compañía. Ok. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Entonces uh, vimos okay. que hay palabras que se parecen algo, pero tienen una gran diferencia, tanto en significado como en escritura. ¿Verdad? No es lo mismo uh, una que la otra, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No, ok. Vaya, creo que se tema. Ok, que no... y de ahí vimos... Uh -huh. eh, la relación del de personal en los diferentes departamentos. Diciendo, por ejemplo, be responsible for, be in charge of, committed to. Si usted aprendió a usar estas frases, ya la hicimos. ¿Se acuerda que preguntábamos, what are you responsible for? What is, or who is the responsible for the assemblers, for example? Y ese, el ejercicio no lo hicimos acá. El ejercicio lo pusimos en la plataforma. Ahí tiene que ir a hacerlo para que recuerde eso, ¿ok? Ahorita le digo. Así es, así me acuerdo que lo hice, pero igual... Eh, ¿Mm? Hola, Chichel. ¿Perdón? Chichel. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, espérenme. Es que... Vaya, aquí en la discusión, usted va a ir a la discusión, ¿sí? Acá en todos los temas, mire, acá tenemos eh, ING performs after preposition. Y aquí tenemos el ejercicio, mire, de la página del manual. Entonces usted tenía que completar estas preguntas con el ING de cada verbo. Y luego dar una respuesta de acuerdo a lo que usted miraba acá en el organigrama. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? Vamos a buscar the machine operators. Ah, están acá. Entonces, ¿quién es el, el, el responsable de ellos? De supervisarlos. The supervisor. Entonces, aquí voy a poner the supervisor is. ¿Verdad? The supervisor is. Uh -huh. Y así cada una de estas, ¿verdad? Entonces usted las va a escribir acá, ¿verdad? Who is responsible for, ¿ya? Yeah. Etcétera, ¿sí? Ok. Ok, eso no le hace todavía. Uh -huh. And so, para que, es, para que lo comprenda. Escribo la respuesta, la pregunta completa y de una vez escribo la respuesta. La, la respuesta, exacto. The supervisor. Y. Ok. 
Yo puedo decir solo the supervisor and it is okay. Okay, puedo decir solo the supervisor, the supervisor is, and that's okay. Y así va a ir con todas las demás, ¿verdad? Ok. Entonces, vemos que eso ya estaba cumplido con eso. Vamos de regreso al... No sé si mira el manual de regreso. No, todavía estoy viendo el organigrama. Ok, el, vamos a ver el manual. El, ¿Cómo se dice organigrama? Me he olvidado. Eh, organizational chart. Organizational okay. chart. De, okay. Luego, hemos empezado la unidad 2. Mire, socializing. Aquí tenemos, estamos intercambiando información de la compañía, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, sí. a qué clasificación industrial eh, pertenece, el eh, lugar donde opera, si tiene branches, dónde están los headquarters, ¿verdad? Y eso. Entonces, veamos el vocabulario que debemos aprender acá. Vocabulary to describe products, services, industries that companies operations like banks, soft drinks, guided tours, cardboard boxes, the packaging industry, the textile, etc. We don't need any more vocabulary, you see? Mm -hmm. Pero sí tenemos algo más que aprender, porque aquí en la gramática, ¿verdad? Dice que yo debo aprender a hacer information questions in the simple present tense, pero también... In the simple past tense, tengo que aprender las oraciones afirmativas y negativas y preguntas de sí y no. En esto estamos ahorita, ¿verdad? Aquí estamos ahorita. Oh, en uh, okay. uno, vimos los infinitivos de propósito y de dirección con la misión y la visión. Luego vimos ING forms after prepositions, que es el ejercicio que va a ser ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, vimos la voz pasiva, passive voice. ¿Y cómo lo vimos? Hablando de la reputación de las compañías, ¿verdad? What is my company known for? ¿Verdad? Entonces, eso es todo lo que hemos visto hasta este momento. Voz okay. pasiva. Pero de la voz pasiva, eh, no uh -huh. me quedó claro realmente a, a, eh, el tema, más bien, de, la, uh -huh. de eso, de voz pasiva. Tal vez uh -huh. me lo explica. Ok, la voz pasiva es nada más eh, cuando nosotros queremos destacar la acción. No vamos a hablar de quién hizo la acción, sino que la acción en sí. Por ejemplo, una voz, bueno, si existe una voz pasiva, existe una voz activa, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a ver cuál es la voz activa primero. La voz activa es cuando tenemos al doer. El doer es el sujeto. Por ejemplo, I, eh, digamos, I know uh, the reputation of your company. ¿Ok? But si yo digo, the reputation of your company is known. Ah, es muy diferente a que yo conozca la reputación o decir que la reputación de su compañía es conocida, ¿sí? Muy diferentes las dos estructuras. Entonces, voz activa es que yo conozco, yo hago la acción. Y la voz pasiva es que la acción es realizada, ¿ok? Eso es la diferencia nada más, de doers and the actions. Y aquí tenemos, mire, no sé si ya está viendo por ahí, no, no, no lo he compartido. Eh, tenemos um, la voz pasiva. Es esta forma, verbo be, con el pasado participio del verbo. ¿Mir? Rex is recognized as a prestigious company. Rex is rated as one of the ten most prestigious companies. Esta es la estructura, verbo be y el pasado participio del verbo. ¿Ok? Ok. Este es el ejercicio que hicimos en clase. Our company is considered the best manufacturer of drums in the country. Vamos a ver la número dos. A ver si recuerda. Si le tenemos que poner el verbo be, acordémonos si es plural, si es singular, si es tercera persona. ¿Ok? Entonces, en este caso, our products are rated. Are rated. Uh -huh. Sí. Ah, right. sí, eso sí lo hice. 
Entonces, esa es la voz pasiva. ¿Ya? Yeah? Are rated. Ahora, number three. Our customer service agent uh -huh. are perceived. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Are the most efficient in the sector. Uh -huh. The run, the run, and the other is C. No, I see. No, no, is C. I see. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces la voz pasiva está compuesta por el be y el pasado participio del verbo. Ok. okay. Uh -huh. Permítame, permítame. Estoy si analizando nos... esto. Ok, es si bien. nosotros queremos, si nosotros queremos y es necesario, entonces le vamos a poner quién realiza la acción. Por ejemplo, um, Our company is considered the best manufacturer of, rum, of rooms in the country. Pero ¿quién lo considera así? By the people. Or by the customers, podemos poner. ¿sí? By the customers. Pero si no es necesario saber quién es el que lo está considerando, no ponemos esto. ¿Ok? Es opcional, ¿verdad? Dependiendo si es importante el dato, o si no cambia la, la eh, 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 por decir así, el énfasis, entonces no lo pongo. ¿Ya? Yeah. Si no es okay. necesario. Estas seis no oraciones que tenemos, tenemos aquí es de la voz pasiva. Exacto. Porque están eh, ¿qué? expresando una, eh, ¿qué? Algo en donde no se presenta la persona que está expresando eso, por decirlo así. Que realiza la acción. Que, que realiza, realiza la, la acción. acción. Okay. La, el que realiza la acción es el sujeto. Entonces aquí no tenemos quién está haciendo la acción. Tenemos que la acción está siendo hecha. Yeah. Ok. Es, es como un, un ejemplo, por decirlo así. Eh, digamos... Eh, si digo, el, el manejar es aburrido, por decirlo así, es como una oración de voz pasiva. Si yo digo, a mí me da sueño manejar, pues entonces ya sería como la voz activa. Y hay una persona. Eh, sí. Y no. Eh, no es voz pasiva el primero que me dijo. Porque hay un sujeto. El sujeto es el que está provocando la acción. ¿Sí? Permítame. Entonces, usted me dice el manejar. Pero ese es un sujeto normal. Lo voy a escribir acá. Driving is boring. ¿Okay? Driving is boring. Estoy usando una ng, ¿verdad? No es un... No es un eh, eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Eh, un pasado participio. En este caso, en este caso, mm, por ejemplo, I am bored of driving. ¿Ya? Yeah? Pero en realidad tampoco es voz pasiva porque lo estoy haciendo yo. ¿Ok? No, eso sería voz pasiva. Ajá, exactamente, pero tenemos el pasado participio, ¿verdad? Pero aquí ya es otra cosa muy diferente, como usted me lo está diciendo. Ok, no, 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 no quiero que se me confunda con la gramática. Ok, no quiero que se me confunda con la gramática. Porque en este caso, la acción o lo que estamos viendo acá es que hay un sujeto, lo vamos a poner de este modo. Ah, déjeme ver, yo creo que tengo un slide. Eh, no sé si, si mira. ¿Los no. slides? No. No. Déjenme llegar ahí.
Ok. Déjenme llegar al de la voz fácil. Miren, tenemos los doers y tenemos las actions. Active voice quiere decir que el sujeto realiza la acción. The cat drinks. Ah, el verbo está como realiza la acción este sujeto. The cat drinks. Pero, ¿qué es lo que bebe? Ah, lo que bebe es leche, the milk. Ese es un objeto directo. ¿Ya? Entonces, para hacer... Una voz pasiva, yo necesito un objeto directo en la oración. El objeto directo es el que recibe directamente la acción del verbo, ¿verdad? Entonces, para que esto se convierta en una voz pasiva, que porque a mí no me interesa que el gato se la tome si para él es, ¿verdad? Entonces, a mí lo que me interesa es que me digan si acabó la leche, ¿va? O se tomó la leche, ¿ya? O la leche fue tomada, ¿ya? Entonces, uh -huh. eh... Yo cambio el orden de las cosas porque lo más importante es lo de la leche, no lo del gato. Entonces voy a decir, the milk se convierte en mi nuevo sujeto o en mi nuevo eh, eh, punto de, de conversación, ¿verdad? Sería, the milk is drunk by the cat. Yo, si no me importa qué fue el gato, pues si no para él es, pues entonces yo le puedo quitar by the cat. The milk is drunk. Ella se la tomó. Yeah. Esa fue tomada. Es tomada. Yeah. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, no necesito saber si el gato se la tomó por último. Necesito saber que la leche ya no está ahí. Entonces, the milk is drunk. Um, por ejemplo, los ejemplos que vimos en, el, en la clase. ¿verdad? She writes a letter. Esta es voz activa. ¿Por qué? Porque uh -huh. ella es la que escribe. Uh -huh. Pero si a mí no me interesa que ella es la que escribe, sino que una carta es el asunto aquí, ¿verdad? Entonces, a letter, ah, se convierte en mi nuevo sujeto, ¿verdad? A letter is written, verbo be, y el pasado participio. Si quiero, digo por ella. Si no quiero, no lo digo. A letter is written. Eso, eso es todo el objeto letter, acá. Es el, el, sería la voz pasiva. Pasiva. Exacto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y el uh, she writes a letter sería la voz activa. Exactamente. Uh -huh. Esto uh -huh. se mira mucho en las noticias. En las noticias. Se mira bastante. Por okay. ejemplo, dicen un, eh, un atropellado. Eh, o qué sé yo. Eh, ay, no se me ocurre ahorita. Fue una comunicadora y se me olvidaba antes. Como un titular, ¿verdad? Eh, sí. ¿Qué sé yo? Eh, sí, un, un los estudiantes son llevados en excursión. ¿verdad? Entonces, una excursión de estudiantes sucedió en tal y tal forma. ¿verdad? Entonces, ya uno lo pone en voz activa. Pero, por ejemplo, los estudiantes son llevados. Son llevados. ¿ok? Are taken. Right? Are taken. So, en noticias usted lo va a ver bastante. Yeah. Ok. Teacher, le voy a compartir. Uh -huh. No sé si está viendo mi pantalla. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. A motorcycle. Sí. Well, it's a bike. bike. Uh -huh. La voy a ir dejando porque ya lo tengo carga. <ríe> ok. Ya veo. Yeah, no problem. Sí. It's okay. No, It's so late too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. La dejo porque si tengo que ir a cargar allá adentro, pero por mi niña no puedo encender la luz porque se me despierta. Okay. Okay. Thank you, okay, teacher. Then. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. No tomorrow have a break at night. <laughs> okay. Okay. Goodbye, Fernando. <laughs> see you. Bye.